here we have n tends to infinity limit fourth root of n power 5 plus 2 minus third root of n square plus 1 by fifth root of n power 4 again plus 2 and second root that is square root of n cube plus 1. We have fourth, fourth root, third root, fifth root, etc. etc. Okay, and we have n tends to infinity. Let us try and uh, to make, let us try to bring this n into denominator. Here, everywhere, here also it is a numerator. We, we want to get this into 1 by n format because 1 by n tends to 0 and n tends to infinity. And then we will divide with the highest power which is there in the denominator. First, let us take n common, n outside and get everything into 1 by n format and then divide both this numerator and denominator with the highest power of the denominator. Let us see it how, how do we do this. Okay, so for example, here if you take n common, right. In this n power 5, if we take n common, what will uh, this, this we can write it as n power 5 into 1 plus 2 by n power 5. Right. And this is fifth root of, sorry, this is fourth root of, fourth root of n power 5. What does that mean? If you bring this n outside, then it becomes n power 5 by 4, n power 5 by 4 into fourth root of 1 by, 4, 1 plus 2 by n power 5. Right, n power 5 to bring it outside, it becomes n power 5 by 4. Right, similarly, here also n square, we can write it as n square plus 1, we can write it as n square into 1 plus 1 by n square. And this n square, if you bring it outside, it will become n power 2 by 3. Right, so n power 2 by 3, what is n power 2 by 3? n power 2 by 3 is nothing but cube root of n square. Right, that is what we are doing. So, basically, we are writing it as cube root of n square into cube root of 1 plus 1 by n square, which is nothing but cube root of n square into 1 plus 1 by n square, which is nothing but cube root of n square plus 1, right. This is what we are doing. n power 2 by 3 is nothing but uh, cube root of n square, right. Now, similarly, denominator, we can take this n outside, we can write it as n power 4 by 5 into fifth root of 1 plus 2 by n power 4. Similarly, n power 3 by 2. 3 by 2 into square root of 1 plus 1 by n cube. Basically, whatever we are doing, whichever these terms, right? n power 5, n square, n power 4, n power 3, we are trying to bring it outside. And in one case, we will get n power 5 by 4. In this case, we will get n power 2 by 3. In this case, n power 4 by 5. In this case, n power 3 by 2. But in all of these cases, within this under root, we will get in 1 by n format, 1 by n power something, right. Now, let us take the highest power in the denominator. What is the highest power of n in the in this thing? It is n power 3 by 2, right. 3 by 2 is 1.5, 4 by is 4 by 5 is lesser than 1. Now, let us take this and divide both the numerator and denominator by this one. So, what will we get? n power 5 by 4 by n power 3 by 2 minus n power 2 by 3 by n power 3 by 2, remaining all will remain same, right. Remaining all will remain same. Now, n power, uh, this one, what will it become? What, what will it get? It become n power 5 by 4 by n power 3 by 2. That means n power 3 by 2 minus 5 by 4. Right. 3 by 2 minus 5 by 4. This is nothing but 6 by 4 minus 5 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 4. That is this. 1 by n power 1 by 4. Right. Similarly, 3 by 2 minus 2 by 3. This is nothing but 9 minus 4, which is 5 by 6, which is nothing but this, right? n power 3 by 2 minus 2 by 3, which is 1 by n power 5 by 6 and cube root of 1 plus 1 by n square. We are trying to get every, all n into the denominators. We do not want, because 1 by n power something, that will tend to 0, right? We are trying to do that way. So, n power 3 by 2 minus uh, 3 by 2 minus 4 by 5. This is also equal to 7 by 10, right? 15 minus 8, which is equal to 7 by 10, this one. And uh, this one, n power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2, this is anyway 1. Now, I got everything into the denominator. Now, if you substitute n equals to infinity, everything will become 0. This is 0, 0 into something. Here also, this is 0 into something. Here, 0 into something minus square root of 1, which is actually equal to 1. So, 0 minus 0 by 0 minus 1. And ultimately, we have avoided 0 in the 
denominator right numerator zero is still fine so the limit is actually equal to zero right so basically nth root of 5 plus 2 whatever this is tending to infinity this is also tending to infinity this is uh, this is tending to infinity this is also tending to infinity basically we have differences of infinities and infinities right but the in uh, the infinities in the numerator are actually close they, they are becoming zero but this one is not right this one is becoming minus 1 So that's why the correct answer is the correct answer is actually equal to zero. Right, yes.